Hello and welcome, my name is Brandi Joan and today I'm going to be showing you how to sew up my spring design with McCall's number M8382. I'm really excited about this one, so let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is stay stitch the lower edge of both of your front yoke pieces. Next, we're going to pin those yokes to the bodice front pieces, right sides together and sew along that seam. Once you've sewn those pieces together, if you feel like your curb isn't laying flat enough, you can go ahead and clip those seams. Now we're going to gather the lower front bodice pieces from notch to notch. I like to remark mine when I have fabric that has eyelets just to make sure I'm sewing to the right notch and not just a hole in the fabric from the eyelet. Now fold the tie end in half lengthwise, right sides together and sew it in place using quarter inch seam allowance. Turn that right side out and baste the raw edges. You can also use a ribbon for this portion, which is what I'm going to do. Next, on the outside of the dress, baste the ties to the front piece, matching the dots and the raw edges. Now, with their right sides together, pin the side front to the front piece and sew it in place using a 5 8 seam allowance. Once you've done that, go ahead and repeat that step with the other side front. Now, with the right sides together, sew your bust pieces to the lower front, right sides together using a 5 8 seam allowance, clipping the curves if necessary, and then pressing the seams towards the bodice. Moving on to the back of the dress, we're going to pin the back to the side back, right sides together, and sew it in place using a 5 8 seam allowance. Then repeat those steps with the remaining back pieces. I'm not using interfacing because I have a fabric that has holes in it and it would show through, but if you're applying fusible interfacing, you would do that step now. Then once you've applied your interfacing, you're going to stitch the front to the back dress at the shoulder seams right sides together. So I'm just jumping in right now to say that the lining is sewn the exact same way as the main fabric. So I'm not gonna be showing that part, just go back to the beginning of the video and it'll show you how to sew all these steps again if you need a visual. Other than that, we're gonna forward to sewing the lining to the shells. So just know that we're gonna skip a few steps in here. Now we're going to sew the lining to the main fabric by laying the lining on top of the main fabric, right sides together and pinning it along the neck edge all the way to the back and we're gonna sew that with a 5 8 seam allowance, switching to a quarter inch through the keyhole and back to a 5 8 seam allowance, and we're going to leave two inches at the back opening on both sides. Next, we're going to stitch the armhole edges closed. If we were sewing the flounce, we would leave an opening in the center and insert it into there, but we're just going to sew all the way through instead. Now we're going to turn the whole thing right side out by pulling the backs through the front. So we're going to reach into the front of the dress through the strap and pull the back end through all the way until it's turned right side out. Then we're going to give it a good press and with the right sides together, pin the front to the back at the sides, matching the notches and the armhole seams. Then pin the front lining to the back lining and stitch it all in one continuous seam. Thank you. 
So at this point, all of your side seams should be closed and it's time to add the zipper. Prep your zipper by opening it flat and giving it a light press with your iron. Then keep the free upper and back edges of the back lining out of the way and on the outside, pin the right side of the zipper face down on the right side of the zipper opening. Have the coil along the seam line, the tape within the seam allowance, and the top stop three quarters below the upper edge as shown, hand based if necessary, and then sew it in place. Once you have that side of the zipper sewn down, make sure to test it to see if it still goes all the way up. Then pin the remaining half of the zipper to the left side of the zipper opening in the same manner. Hand baste along the edge if necessary and sew it in place the same way that you did the other side. Next, starting at the bottom of the zipper, sew the remaining seam closed using a 5 8 seam allowance. Now we want to attach the lining to the zipper, so we're going to roll the zipper teeth in between the lining and the main fabric and sew it in place. Now it's also time to close those top edges of the corner that we left open while sewing the lining to the dress. Once you've sewn that in place, clip the edges to make the corner sharper. Next, hem the dress by folding up a quarter of an inch and then five eighths of an inch and sew it in place. And the final step is to bar tack and the final step is to French tack the lining to the main fabric at the side seams and you're done. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this pattern, you might like my other spring design, number M8383. So check it out. And thanks again. See you next time.